If you're interested in launching on Product Hunt, chances are you've taken some time and read some of the blog posts that are out there about Product Hunt and you've discovered that it's a ton of work. And you know what? The bad news is 70% of that work is work that's done before the day of launch. And there's a lot to be done. So where do you start? And what do you do? And how do you get started? Well, I'm the author of the Product Hunt Manual, which goes over a lot of different things about how to launch successfully on Product Hunt, but I'd like to go into four key points that I didn't outline as thoroughly as I'd like to in the book right now. Uh, and these key points are basically things to prepare in advance of your actual product launch in order to be successful. Number one, you're going to want to be active on Twitter. A lot of the conversation that occurs about Product Hunt and on Product Hunt doesn't actually happen on Product Hunt. It happens on Twitter or on Slack. Um, nowadays, if you uh, join some private Slack channels, there's one for makers who have made something on Product Hunt. There's one for product hunters who are interested in Product Hunt. Um, you can join there, but I would start first at Twitter because that's where it all got started in the first place. People like Ryan Hoover, who's the founder of Product Hunt, are incredibly active on Twitter and will respond and answer questions and people network and they get to know each other and they get to know each other's products. So you're going to want to do two things. You're going to want to start your own product Twitter account. So um, my product was Fitter, which is a fitness app. So it was at Fitter app. And then um, you're also going to want to start one for yourself personally in order to talk to other makers and creators out there about your product in a more personal tone, you know, not a, a, from a selling, you want to buy this kind of standpoint, but more from a like, oh my gosh, today I ate ramen again kind of standpoint. And that kind of leads us into point number two, because point number two is you should attend or host a product hunt meetup. Just like on Twitter and on Slack, um, people meet in real life to discuss Product Hunt because it's got such an engaged and vibrant community that people just want to congregate and talk about the things that they've done and seen and voted for and learned about. Um, it's just really quite fun. Um, I'm from Tampa, which is in Florida, which is a long way away from New York or from DC or from well, you know, California, where most of the product hunt meet meetups are, so I held my own. And actually, it was not bad, uh, if I do say so myself. We had a really good time, a lot of people turned up. Uh, some people got a little tipsy and started talking about their product in funny ways, and you know, it was good. It was, it was a great way to network. And a lot of people launched, from the Tampa group, launched after that. Um, they held off in order to make sure that they had networked properly before launching. And what I've heard a lot of people do in like the Singapore meetups and the other meetups around the world is that they'll launch on the day of the meetup. That way they have a couple of guaranteed votes because um, pretty much everybody in the meetup is going to get on their phone and go ahead and vote for that product. So it's a great way to get the word out about your product or to get to know people in advance of launching. Number three is a little different. Um, number three is one I didn't personally do for my product hunt launch, um, at least the Fitter app launch. Um, this one I stole from the double hacking product hunt um, blog post, which I will link to in the bottom of the comments. Um, but hacking product hunt goes over a strategy that double used that is genius, and I don't. I wish I'd thought of it, to be honest. Um, and that is on the day of you switch your landing page to welcome product hunters and that sounds really pretty simple but it's one of those surprise and delight kind of things where it's really going to drive engagement and it's really going to make people feel warmly about your product the other side of that besides like just tailoring your home page to welcome product hunters is you can also offer a discount to product hunters so if you have a paid service of some sort um, then you can uh, discount it for visiting product hunters using some sort of code. If you do this and you alert Ryan Hoover or Eric Tornberg or any of the other team members on Product Hunt, they will actually give you a little gold star to place right by your name, which says that you have a discount for Product Hunters and will earn you massive kudos. So definitely do that if you do do a discount of some sort because you're going to want to get credit for it. And number four, most importantly, is that you want to make sure your product is solid. 
And by that, I kind of mean two things. One, you want to make sure it's like functional. You want to make sure that people can use it. You want to make sure that it is not broken or dented or busted. Um, and since there's a massive onslaught of traffic that comes with being on the top of the product hunt list, you're also going to want to make sure that you can handle that much traffic to your website. So in advance of your product hunt launch, be sure that you load test your website. Um, that does take down a lot of product hunters. Um, and you'll, if that does happen to you, what you can do is you can reach out on Twitter to the people who are on the product hunt team, Eric Tornberg, Ryan Hoover, all those, those people, and um, just say, hey, oops, um, we're down. Uh, would you mind taking us off for a second so we can reload the site? So um, that's what to do in case that happens. But it shouldn't happen because you will have prepared. Uh, the other thing that you should make sure is solid about your product is you should make sure it's fun, engaging, useful, uh, practical, pragmatic, something like that, that will appeal to product hunters themselves. Um, product hunters tend to be male. They tend to be uh, tech, tech people. They tend to be marketers. They tend to be coders, developers, stuff like that. So. Um, if your book is about makeup for chihuahuas, it's probably not going to appeal to anybody but Paris Hilton and she's not on product hunt. So I would suggest that you go ahead and um, make sure that your product is really relevant for one thing. And for another thing,